suspension therapy general procedure of suspension one end of supporting rope is attached by the s hook with the mesh and another end is passes through the one hole of the wooden cleat and taken out through the another hole the wooden cleat is used for adjusting the length of the rope and another way to lengthening adjustment by knotting the rope about the cleat and one more as hook attach the sling with supporting rope in between the two hole of the wooden cleat now we perform how to tie the sling in figure of 8 Now we perform suspension for abduction and adduction of shoulder joint. Patient position supine line. Point of suspension one inch below the acromion process. Needed accessories: number of S hook three, number of slings two, number of supporting rope with wooden cleat two. Procedure. One inch below the acromion process is taken as the suspension point by primary supporting rope, which is connected by the S hook with the mesh. Secondary supporting rope attached in the same S hook. One sling is used to support the wrist. Another one sling is used to support the elbow. Primary supporting rope is attached with the wrist sling. Secondary supporting rope is attached with the elbow sling. Patient is instructed to perform the abduction and adduction movement of the shoulder. For strengthening the abductor, medial shifting of the axis is carried out. Vice versa for adductor strengthening. Now we perform suspension for flexion and extension of shoulder joint. Position of patient side line. Position of point of suspension greater tuberosity. Needed accessories number of S hook three. Number of slings two. Number of supporting rope with wooden cleat two. Procedure: Greater tuberosity is taken as the suspension point by primary supporting rope, which is connected by the S hook with the mesh. Secondary supporting rope attached in the same S hook. One sling is used to support the wrist.
one sling is used to support the elbow. Primary supporting rope is attached with the wrist sling. Secondary supporting rope is attached with the elbow sling. Patient is instructed to perform the flexion and extension movement of the shoulder. For strengthening, the flexor posterior shifting of the axis is carried out vice versa for extensor strengthening. Now we perform suspension for medial and lateral rotation of shoulder joint. Position of patient supine line. Point of suspension olecranon process. Needed accessories number of S hook 4, number of slings 2, number of supporting rope with wooden cleat 2. Procedure. Shoulder is flexed 90 with elbow in 90 flexion. The olecranon process is taken as the suspension point by primary supporting rope, which is connected by the edge hook with the mesh. <coughs> Secondary supporting rope is attached with the head side mesh by another edge hook in the vertical suspension. One sling is used to support the wrist. Another one sling is used to support the arm. The primary supporting rope is attached with the wrist sling. Secondary supporting rope is attached with the arm sling. Patient is instructed to perform the medial and lateral rotation movement of the shoulder. For strengthening the medial rotator, Lateral shifting of the axis is carried out vice versa for lateral rotator strengthening. Now we perform suspension for flexion and extension of elbow joint. Position of the patient sitting. Point of suspension lateral epicondyle of the humerus. Needed accessories, number of S hook 4, number of slings 2, number of supporting rope with wooden clip 2. Procedure, shoulder is abducted in 90 degree with elbow 90 position and lateral epicondyle is taken as the suspension point.
by primary supporting rope which is connected by the ash hook with the mesh secondary supporting rope attached with the mesh by another ash hook in vertical suspension One sling is used to support the wrist. to support the arm The primary supporting rope is attached with the wrist sling. Secondary supporting rope is attached with the arm sling. Patient is instructed to perform the elbow flexion and extension movement. For strengthening, the flexor lateral shifting of the axis is carried out vice versa for extensional strengthening. Now we perform suspension for flexion and extension of hip joint. Position of patient sideline. Point of suspension greater trochanter. Needed accessories number of S hook 3, number of slings 2, number of supporting rope with wooden cleat 2. Procedure Greater trochanter is taken as the suspension point by primary supporting rope which is connected by the S hook with the mesh. Secondary supporting rope attached with the same S hook. One sling is used to support the ankle. Another one sling is used to support the knee. Primary supporting rope is attached with the ankle sling. Secondary supporting rope is attached with the knee sling. Patient is instructed to perform flexion and extension movement of hip joint. For strengthening, the flexor posterior shifting of the axis is carried out vice versa for extensor strengthening. Now we perform suspension for abduction and adduction of hip joint. Position of patient supine line. Point of suspension 2 inch below the ASIS. Needed accessories number of S3, 
number of slings 2 number of supporting rope with wooden cleat 2 procedure 2 inch below the asis is taken as the suspension point by primary supporting rope which is connected by the s hook with mesh secondary supporting rope attached with the same s hook one sling is used to support the anchor another one sling is used to support the knee primary supporting rope is attached with the ankle sling secondary supporting rope is attached with the knee sling patient is instructed to perform the abduction and adduction movement of the hip for strengthening the abductor medial shifting of the axis is carried out vice versa for adductor strengthening now we perform suspension for flexion and extension of knee joint position of patient side line point of suspension lateral joint line needed accessories number of s hook 4 number of slings 2 number of supporting rope with wooden cleat 2 procedure lateral joint line is taken as the suspension point by primary supporting rope which is connected by the s hook with the mesh cog of the thigh is taken as the suspension point by the secondary supporting rope which is attached with the head slide mesh by the another s hook in vertical suspension one sling is used to support the ankle another one sling is used to support the thigh the primary supporting rope is attached with the ankle sling secondary supporting rope is attached with the thigh sling patient is instructed to perform the flexion and extension movement of the knee for strengthening the flexor posterior shifting of the axis is carried out with vice versa for extension strengthening